Hello, review time. I'm going to attempt to describe a FIO. Oh, I, I should have learned how to pronounce this first. FIO, FIO, F I I O. It's a DAC plus headphone amp and some other features. And let's uh, take it out of the little box. See what it looks like here. It comes with some accessories, different kinds of plugs. And you need probably the cable to go from the um, computer. USB cable, standard USB cable for the computer and the little mini USB connector for the little deck and headphone amp. And that little connector would go to the bottom right there like so. And uh, next to that we have a uh, FIO docking connector of some sort. I guess it goes to their own proprietary products. It's not uh, like the Apple dock connector. It's a little bit smaller. We have a uh, auxiliary in, which is an analog input. Uh, that would, uh, if you're going to use an iPhone or something like that, you could go from um, either the headphone jack using a double um, something like this which has a you know, mini plug on either either side or get a line out dock connector from uh, from these same people and uh, then that way you can go from the dock on the iPhone into the analog in on the FIO here. E17 is what this is actually. The um, top panel we have an optical in, which is another mini plug. I, I suppose it's a mini plug. It looks about that size. The um, There's a reset switch in the center. We have the headphone out up on top that runs off the uh, headphone amp that's built in here. On the side, there's a uh, something called an LO bypass, which uh, works only with their particular uh, docks, their proprietary docks. And I'm not sure what that bypass does. I don't have their equipment. On the front panel, we've got the on button, and if we push that, then we get the screen and the menu. I haven't gone very far through this menu. It shows 48K right now, but it'll go to 96 if you've got 96 configured on the computer and you've got some tracks that are 96. Uh, a menu button here. Uh, in this particular case, it came up with bass, treble, and balance. I set all those to defaults, just left them as they were. The input selector here would choose between the optical, um, auxiliary, USB, and I'm not sure what that fourth one is. I just use the USB for running off the computer's USB. There's a hold switch on here, I guess, so you can freeze your controls if you want to. Then there's the volume buttons. The volume buttons are digital so that uh, there's a slight delay. They're not really instantaneous. But anyway, there's a quick overview of this. Um, it is a DAC plus headphone amp. And uh, in comparison, we've got uh, uh, these strictly desktop units like the head streamer here, which has the USB input and the headphone output. But uh, most of the other stuff is uh, not available. With the um, Audio Engine D1, we also have headphone out and USB input, but then we also have uh, analog outputs, and we have an optical input here and a volume knob on the front. So the Audio Engine has a little more feature wise than the um, head streamer, but neither one of those are quite like this um, E17 which has uh, quite a few more capabilities. Uh, getting to the sound, the head streamer and the audio engine D1 are very, very close and give the best possible sound, at least in this price range, of uh, something that's under $200 that combines a, a DAC and a headphone amp. And uh, I like the sound of both of them. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, this little gadget here, the E17, does not have exactly the same sound quality I guess it's it, it's not quite as spacious and not uh, doesn't seem to be quite as detailed 
but uh, it's pretty close and uh, it improves whatever you have as far as just a standard uh, computer sound card. Uh, but the, the portability of it and the flexibility of doing all these extra things is uh, and the and the amazing price of being only about I think it's around uh, ninety to hundred dollars U.S. Whereas these other devices are one hundred forty to one hundred seventy dollars. So uh, given all the features here and given the uh, price and the, the good sound, I'd say this is a tremendous bargain. The case here is uh, it's all metal, aluminum, uh, black anodized aluminum. It's uh, very well built, really strong. Looks like you could drop this on something uh, really hard and not even hurt it. So it's a good little machine at a good price, and um, I highly recommend it if the features match up with what you need. I just uh, have not used optical. I wish I did because with optical you can go up to apparently go up to 192 kilohertz tracks, whereas um, nor ordinarily with USB, uh, it only goes up to 96. So I don't know, theoretically you get better sound at 192. Now I don't know if going at 192, if it's going to equal these other ones or not. Don't really have any idea. But at 96 it does pretty well. So I think it's a good little machine and it's uh, just an amazing price what you can get here for uh, less than $100. And one more thing, it comes with this little carry bag, a little cloth carry bag with some little bit of padding inside. That looks pretty nice. I've got some other things to carry this in as well. But, um, and we already looked at the uh, box with these little um, wristbands here or whatever they're for. I have no idea. Anyway, there's the uh, review of the still not sure how to pronounce this. Is it FIO or FIO or whatever? It's a E17 DAC plus headphone amp. So there you go. Thank you.